Many people ask, why bother to learn tables when you can use a calculator? Well, the answer is simply another question. What happens if you don't have a calculator or the batteries fail when you really need to work something out? For most learners, they can cope with two, three, five and ten times tables, often learned by chanting. For example, with the two times table, it's two, four, six, eight, 10 and so on. For the three times table, it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. And for the five times table, even easier, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I suppose some people would argue that the 10 times table is even easier. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The 4 times table, however, isn't as easy for some learners until they realise that they just need to double twice for each finger and it becomes easier. So for the 4 times table, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Some of you may want to stop the video clip and go back to look at the 2, 3, 5, 10 and 4 times table again. If not, let's carry on and look at the 6, 7s, 8 and 9 times table that for many learners can cause problems. The method I'm going to show you has helped many learners over many hundreds of years and this clicker is an update on one I made some time ago. For some of you it will take some time to practice but don't give up, it will be worth the effort once you get your head round it. As you can see the calculator is on hands. Start with the hands, palm up, thumbs at the top and try to remember that starting with the little fingers at the bottom we number them 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The first step when you are multiplying is to touch the finger or thumb on the left hand with the finger or thumb on the right hand that match the numbers that you want to multiply. So if we're going to multiply 7 times 8, you can see the finger 7 on the left hand touches the finger 8 on the right hand. The next step is the fingers touching and those below are counted as 10s. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So far we've got 7 times 8 equals 50. And then the next step is the fingers above those touching. And uh, we have 3 on the left and 2 on the right. These we multiply, so 3 times 2 is 6 which we add to the 50, so 7 times 8 is 50 plus the 6, which is 56. Again, you may want to pause the video and or rewind and watch again until you get your head around this method. It may take a little time and some practice, but don't give up, it will be worth it. So, let's remind ourselves of the step again. One touch the two fingers together. Next the fingers touching and those below are tens. And then we multiply the number of, of fingers above those that are touching on the left and multiply it by the number of fingers above those touching on the right. And finally add those two answers together. So here we've got 7 times 8 equals 50 and 3 times 2 is 6. 50 plus 6 is 56. Let's try another one. 7 times 7. As you can see, the finger 7 on the left hand touches finger 7 on the right. Next, the fingers touching and those below are 
tens, so we've got 40, and then we multiply the number of fingers above those touching on the left, that's 3, and multiply it by the number of fingers above those touching on the right, 3 again this time. And we multiply those two together, so we have got 3 times 3 is 9. So 7 times 8 is equal to the tens, 40, and 3 times 3 is 9, so 40 plus 9 is 49. Again, you can pause, rewind, watch again until you're happy to move on. If you're ready, let's try another one. This may be a little bit more complicated for some of you, but let's try 6 times 7. As you can see, 6 on the left hand touches 7 on the right hand. Next, the fingers touching and those below are 10, so this time with 30. And we multiply the number of fingers above those touching on the left, 4, by the number of fingers touching on the right, 3. So 4 threes are 12. So here, 6 sevens is equal to 30, plus 4 threes, 12. 30 plus 12 is 42. If you think you're ready, let's try these out. When you pause the clip, work out the answers, then restart to see if you got the correct answers. Pause the clip now. If you didn't pause quick enough, the pictures show the fingers that are, be that are uh, touching to calculate the answers. Once you've worked out the answers, carry on to see if you're right. 7 times 9, 63. Looking at the fingers, remember, it's 60, and 3 times 1 is 3, so 63. 8 times 6, it's 40 plus 2 times 4 is 8, so 48. 6 times 9 is 50, and 4 times 1 is 4, 54. 7 times 8 is 50, and 2 times 3, which is 6, 56. And 6 times 8 is 40, and 4 times 2 is 8, 48. I hope you've got them all correct. If not, play the video again. In fact, as often as you need to get your head around the method. That's all from me, John Diel, for this functional skills clip.